Vivian Reddy is one of the most prominent figures in the South African business world, but there are other less well-known aspects to this familiar figure, like his love of a famous spy film franchise. We all fantasize about being a billionaire and never having to work, but is that really the case? There's only one way to find out, and that's to ask someone who fits the profile, like Vivian Reddy. He's told me to bring my gym here. Wish me luck. Morning, Barry. How are you this morning? Good with you. No? Very well. Good, good. Yeah, today, this evening, we've got a great function with the Bond movie, and I've got to start looking like Bond, so you've got, to create, you've got to create a miracle. All right, let's get started. Thanks. Okay, let's start off on your 10 minutes of the treadmill. Oh, good morning. What a way to start morning, the morning. Hello. Hi, Michelle. That's my personal trainer, Brian, the man that puts me to my uh, paces. <laughs> Through your paces, and this early in the morning, Michelle. Oh, yeah, it's terrific. Yeah, it's that's it. So, you come to train with me this morning? I've come to train. I've come to see if I could keep up. All right, maybe today we're going to do some uh, chest and some abs. We're going to start off with the incline dumbbell curl. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do the weights are ready and waiting. Okay. So, take the seat and let's get started. Going right. 15 reps for your first set, warming you up. Okay, this gives you the bone muscles, you know, the bone body. To refuel after the workout, Shoot. Vivian's breakfast is a dietitian's delight. Vivian, there's such a great energy coming from your side. What were you like growing up? I'm the youngest of nine children. And I used to spy on my brothers and sisters, on their girlfriend. <laughs> and they used to call me, and that's how they nicknamed me 007 at eight years old. And I had no idea what 007 was all about. Till I was about 14 or 15, when I saw my first Bond movie, I realized Bond was a spy. <laughs> and I wasn't happy at all. But we had a beautiful family. Anyway, cheers. Cheers and, uh, to you, Vivian. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, yes to the Bond movie this evening. Absolutely. Vivian's early morning arrival at the Edison Power HQ would be worthy of this silver screen. And he moves comfortably in the circles of power, business and celebrity. Today, he counts top politicians, international figures and fellow billionaires among his personal friends. But his empire started off with very humble beginnings. The story of the Edison business goes back some 37 years ago with 500 rands and a broken down bucky. I used to work for an international company that disinvested in South Africa and new South African owners took over and I was totally unhappy in the workplace and subsequently I got fired. But when I walked out of that office, I told the manager at that time that one day South African apartheid will be gone and I'll have an electrical company bigger than yours. That may have seemed a rash prediction at the time, but Vivian has made it true many times over, employing over 2,000 people and boasting a multi-billion rand turnover. The Edison Power Group is now the largest electrical company in South Africa. Who have been some of the most influential figures in your life? My dad was the biggest influence in my life. My dad was a wonderful, he was a person, an icon in my life. He taught me all the values, he taught me about charity and he taught me never to be selfish. Vivian has never forgotten those guiding principles. And today, he's the patron of more than 10 different charitable organizations. What do you consider to be some of your greatest achievements thus far? My greatest achievement in life is that despite all the successes that I've had and the amazing growth in business, that I've been able to still have a wonderful relationship with my two families. Both my ex-wife, Mogi, who's a wonderful human being, and my current wife, Suresha, who is well-known, and my two kids, and my five grandchildren, and my three other kids. I mean, they're absolutely wonderful. In fact, at this evening's Bond movie, uh, you'll see them all dressed up there and, and, and really looking. Uh, they're always, because the whole Bond theme goes to the family. They also love Bond <laughs> movies, you know, and I always tell them the story about the 007. Family always comes first for Vivian, but his supercars make up a stable of pampered thoroughbreds. They would be among the stars of the show at the movie premiere to be hosted by Vivian that evening. He's an ardent fan of the fictional British agent and has seen all of the movies in the franchise a number of times. My fascination with the movie started when I started watching the gadgets, the cars being destroyed, the uh, uh, the futuristic gadgets uh, and uh, you know when you look at the sky jackets things that were still to be invented uh, and the big thing to me was crashing the cars and the fascination with casinos started started when I started watching the Bond movies. 
Rest assured that the only car crashes that evening would be on the screen. And the collection was in pristine shape when the guests began to arrive, ready for an evening of glamour and fun. James Bond from top to bottom, Vivian's fabulous vehicles, all of the excitement of the casino and the high life. That's what I'm looking forward to. Durban's A-list had been invited. We're quite used to the fact that it's another Bond movie uh, entertained by Vivian Reddy and Edison Power. So we're looking forward to it. I've seen every single Bond film, including that crazy one by George Lazenby, you know, the biggest Bond flop, including that film I've seen and even enjoyed that. We just decided to go full Bond glamour. And there was glamour galore, with Sarisha looking like a goddess and a gun barrel eye sculpture for souvenir shots. Behind the scenes, Harun Hansrat was putting the finishing touches to a show presenting a new fashion label that he and Sarisha were launching. The program kicked off with stunts and dancers in true Bond title sequence style, building up to the host's dramatic entrance in the signature tuxedo. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to live your life to the fullest. Make every day a better day. You only live once, so let it be the best life you ever had. Thank you and have a fantastic evening. Picking up on the movie theme, the fashion launch featured fitted evening wear for the man who has a license to thrill, while sexy swimsuits and cocktail LBDs were spot on for the girl with a super spy in her sights. Arun and Sarisha had certainly hit their target, but the man of the moment had the last word. All the uh, viewers of Mela, I want to wish you a great Christmas. Let it be one of your best Christmas that you celebrate family, friends, and most importantly, do not forget the less poor, the disadvantaged amongst you. Give this Christmas, and most, and I think it's a time of getting family together. The togetherness is so important, and. The new year, may this new year be your best ever.